Hey guys, this is Brian. I hope you're doing well. I want to let you know that we're very excited to welcome you back to campus on Sunday, May the 31st. We're looking forward to all being back together, whether you're worshiping with us in person or online. We know that God has great things for all of us as a church as we continue to move through this season that we're in. We want to take a minute to provide you with an instructional video of what you can expect if you choose to worship with us in person this coming Sunday. We know that you've seen all the protocols and whatnot, but this video is intended to kind of guide you through step by step what you can expect this Sunday. We look forward to seeing you. God bless. When you turn into the church parking lot, be sure to park near one of our main entrances that will be open. There are three of those. The double doors by the church office, the double doors by the playground, and the single doors coming in from the chapel. Our other doors we're gonna, are going to be locked, so even if you're used to parking there, like the single doors by the church office, the single doors by the gym, or the doors into the lodge, you're gonna to have to walk around to an open entrance. When you come into church on Sunday, please be sure to use a door that's already propped open, not the ones that are closed. Andy's gonna demonstrate that for us right now. Andy, are you ready? Yeah. Andy, pick up the pace, come on. Hurry, run, no, run, what? hurry Andy, what? hurry. What? You don't really have to run, we're just messing with him. Did I make it? Yep, you did good. As you make your way in, you'll notice a table like this at each of our main entrances with hand sanitizer on it. We're asking every person, every guest, uh, every member, every child to use hand sanitizer when they make their way into the building. Hey church, we're glad to have you back on campus this weekend, but you need to know that our water fountains will not be in use. Also, we won't be having coffee service, but we do encourage you to bring your own beverage from home, just like I did. Another thing that you'll notice is different is the lobby furniture will be marked off simply to help us during this time. If you need to use the restroom while you're on campus, these restrooms will be the only ones open. So we encourage you to use those if you need to while you're here. So one of the things you're going to notice is the communion is going to be a little different as well. We have these individual communion cups set up in the lobby and on tables in the coffee bar. If you would, please come by, pick one of these up as you enter into the worship center for our times of worship. Another thing we're going to ask you to do, as you're leaving, would you please pick up those cups and deposit them in the trash cans? Again, there'll be trash cans at each exit for you to deposit those into. You may be asking, hey, I'm bringing a check or cash that I would like to contribute. Contributions can be done online or on the app, but if you bring a check or if you're bringing cash, you will be able to find two tables, one at the back of the worship center and one by the coffee bar. There'll be tables set up with baskets. You can deposit your contributions there. So we're saying it's going to be a little different, but we will be doing it together. And notice right now, these guys are working hard to get everything ready for us to be here Sunday morning. When you make your way into the auditorium, you'll see that every other row is, is marked off with blue tape. So we want to encourage you to sit in the pews anywhere you like. But make sure there's two seats or about six feet between you and the next family unit. Also, if you have small children, we'd like to encourage you to sit near the aisle in the event for some reason you need to pop up and make your way out to the lobby. So, with all that said, it's going to look something like this. Hey, guys. Another thing that you'll notice different when you enter the worship center this Sunday is that we pulled everything out of the pews. Now, the good news is everything that was there, you can access through your app on the phone. We have the Bible ways to give, online check-in, and the church bulletin. So we want to encourage you to use that this Sunday rather than what's normally in the pews. The other thing we want to make you mindful of is we do expect some guests this Sunday. We've actually already heard from people who plan to be here for the first time, their first time at West Houston this Sunday. So we want to encourage you to be on the lookout for them. As new as this is to all of us, it's probably even more so to them, and it's a great chance for us to reach out and to help. Hey, church, we're glad you're continuing to worship. And whether you do that here or whether you do that at home, whether you sing out or don't, whether you stand or whether you sit, we're glad that you've made the choice to honor God in worship. The nursing mom's room will be available to help you with, the, with your baby's needs. There are a few things that we ask to help keep everyone safe. Number one, two adults are only allowed in here at a time. And number two, please wipe down the, the rocking chairs and changing tables before and after each use. 
We will not have a staff nursery until further notice. I know it's disappointing that we don't have preschool praise, we don't have a playground, we don't have Sunday school, and we don't have a nursery, but we do have new worship boxes. There are a few rules for the new worship boxes. Number one, only take the amount that you need for your family, and number two, take the worship boxes that you took from the shelf after the end of service and place them in the bin. Please know that these will not be touched for the rest of the day on Sunday, and then they won't, they'll be sanitized during the week, and then they'll be ready for the next week. Hey, families and children, make sure that when your kids are in the building with you, that you keep them close to you and not running around like my children. So the one question that people have asked us the most about is what about masks? And here's what we want to say about that. We are encouraging all of our worshipers to wear a mask while on campus. But a mask is not required. We're encouraging it, but we're not requiring it. We know that some people would prefer that everyone wear a mask and some people just aren't comfortable wearing a mask. Here's what we would like to ask. Regardless of your decision, let's be respectful and let's honor everyone's decision around this issue. Let's love one another. Let's come together and support each other in love and unity. But let's also be responsible and do what we can to help prevent the spread of disease in our community. If you choose not to wear a mask, then we're asking that you do your very, very best to maintain social distancing of six to eight feet or more at all times. But like I said, we are encouraging everyone to wear a mask while on campus.